And happy Tuesday I just took a bar class as you saw I was a little surprised being 6 a.m. in LA that there were only two of us in the class and then the instructor super slow morning I guess not a lot of people around here are morning people they were saying but it's Tuesday I thought we could vlog today because I normally don't do workout classes but they just convinced me to sign up for a two-week special so paid for that we'll be going for another two weeks and uh, I'm gonna go back home work I have therapy after work which I'm really excited for I haven't had therapy in a long time so it's gonna be a really good eventful day last time I did a bar class or a workout class in the morning I was so set for the rest of the day like I was in such a good mood and I can already feel myself being in a good mood but excited to go back and like actually have time to like make breakfast and shower as opposed to just like waking up at 8 rolling out of bed and going to work at 8 30 so hopefully it's a good Tuesday we're gonna go back home and make some breakfast and get ready for the day For breakfast, I'm going to make a avocado toast situation, but with a bagel. I really need to start going to like Whole Foods or something because I would love to get gluten-free bagels, but these are the only ones I had at Target. And then some micro greens from Trader Joe's to go on top, tomato, avocado, and an egg. And here is Brecky. I hope my egg is still runny because I'm so bad at making those. Also just finishing up my zip fizz from this morning. I still have half a bottle in here because if I put the whole bottle in here, then it just tastes too strong and I don't like it. I got these from Costco yesterday and I love them because there's like vitamins in it, electrolytes, and it also will give me energy throughout the day. And they're pretty good. My egg's not really runny, but it's still good. It is 8.12, so I have about 15 minutes until I clock into work. But right now, I really just want to get my life together as much as I can in the next 10 minutes. I just got back to LA three days ago, so I've kind of just been like trying to get my groceries together, my life together, get back into a routine. Unfortunately, every time I come back to LA from Oregon, I'm like going back and forth right now, one month in Oregon, one month here. Every time I come back here, I'm just super stressed and I start breaking out and I get cranky and it's not good. So I'm trying to just live day by day despite all the things we have going on in april which is a lot and it's really crazy my boss just told me yesterday that we have two more events that we're going to be filming this month so basically all of april i am gonna have no free weekends i'll just show you because it's better to show you than talk about it but this weekend going to san diego to see my grandma but the weekend after that is coachella so i'm filming all of coachella Weekend after that is a San Diego event that I'm filming. Weekend after that, I am going to Miami for another event that I'm filming. Weekend after that in May is Arizona to visit my grandma and then back in Oregon the weekend after that. So a lot, a lot, a lot going on. And in between all of that, I still have my small to-do list thing. So this is on an app called Notion. Notion and Structured, which is what I put my day-to-day -day schedule on it's like a widget on my phone are the best apps especially if you're someone who's super organized and likes to see everything laid out like me so i'm just gonna take some of these stuff on my to-do list and put them into my calendar i really want to do better at that like time management anyways let's delete this off of here really need to do my nails so i think we're gonna put that in we have like a 30 minute break it says right here in between the time i get off work and my therapy appointment so i think we'll try to our nails right there create task 
boom. Now I can just take this off my list because I already know it's scheduled out and I want to get it done. And then other things like pay off my credit card. I have to get my Airbnb for my trip to Bali that I just bought yesterday. I'm going to Bali, which is super exciting. I've always wanted to go. Oh, edit my YouTube video. I'll do that after my therapy. One thing I really want to put on my schedule somewhere is I really want to go thrifting for some Coachella outfits. We will do that Thursday after work. All right, got it down a little bit, not too bad. I really would love to start waking up at like maybe 5.30, 6, work out in the morning so that when I get off work, I don't have to worry about anything. I can just relax and just be done like with work and the day. Tomorrow, actually, I can't really be in my routine because I have an event I'm filming tomorrow in downtown LA, which I don't even know where or the times yet, so I'm gonna have to ask that today. I think six o'clock is a good time to wake up, especially if I'm just going to my gym in my apartment, wake up at six, finish working out at seven, shower, eat, clock it at 8.30. I would definitely love to get into like an actual stable and good routine and find like a gym that I can start going to every day instead of just my apartment gym and actually invest in like going to consistent workout classes and yeah i would just love to be in a position right now in a situation where i can be in a stable routine and live a stress-free life <laughs> but unfortunately it's really hard right now for me to do that since i am bouncing back and forth from la to Oregon and I know this may all sound super confusing if you're new to my channel So I won't talk about it more that much. I'll save that for therapy later But we are about to start the work day and I will chat with you later black bean and corn vegetarian quesadilla. I threw the instructions away, so I don't know how long to cook it for. Maybe four minutes? No, oh, no, it's not gonna be very pretty. Here is lunch. I know it doesn't look that appealing, but this is definitely better than nothing, which is what I usually have for lunch. <laughs> and I'm still trying to finish my zip fizz. I'm on the other half of it now. I didn't proportion it right, so this one's a little too strong. It's hard to get through, but definitely want to try to make it a goal to finish those by lunchtime so that I'm not off the walls after work. But I'm gonna eat my lunch, and we still have five hours left of work. Isabel, Isabel, Isabel. I knew it. <laughs> Here's dinner and watching Love Island. Well, this is an app, but yeah. All about finding new ways to make banking easier. It 
just took a shower. Sorry, I haven't been talking much. I was supposed to have therapy at 5.30. I did my nails, by the way, so did that. But then I guess she didn't show up or I didn't like know how to join the call. But yeah, basically I didn't have a therapy session and I was really looking forward to it because I've been like bottling up a lot, I feel like. Like there's a lot going on in my life right now. Just with like my living situation and work and my relationships. Yeah, it was gonna be a good session. I was really looking forward to it and it didn't happen. So I kind of had a mental breakdown and didn't really want to talk. So I just ate dinner, took a shower and now I am going to eat some Simple Mills and watch some more Love Island. But I feel like this video is just me showing you my meals and like what I'm eating. So we will continue the video tomorrow, which will be interesting because I'm filming tomorrow. So I'm gonna wake up early at like 6 a.m. I was trying to figure that out if I wanted to do an everything shower tonight or tomorrow after I work out, but I don't think I would have had enough time to like work out and do an everything shower. So I just did everything shower tonight and I don't know what I'll do if I decide to work out in the morning. But yeah, you guys will find out. I'm a little better now that I had a little cry sesh. So ironic that like I've been looking forward to that therapy session and it didn't happen. But yeah, I'm gonna watch some of this. I really miss this show. I haven't watched it in a while. <laughs> I'm just getting ready for bed now. I didn't even edit my YouTube video tonight, which I really wanted to do. I was just feeling a little down. I'm trying not to stress out about everything though because it's really truly not going to do me any good to stress about it. Just trying to go day by day and everything's going to work out. I know it will. I'm also just stressed out about work because I really wish I could have at least one free weekend here in LA, but every weekend is booked now up until I leave for Oregon again, so I can't really like go to the beach or do a lot of things really, but it's okay. That just means April is going to go by super fast and I'm going to get everything done and then can go back to Oregon and kind of like relax. A bit. I always feel so like happy and at peace when I'm there and then every time I come back here I'm just stressed and there's so much to do and yeah not good stress is not good for acne I break out a lot when I'm stressed and the whole time I was in Oregon my skin was so clear because I was just happy stress-free <laughs> anyways I'm going to bed have a very long day tomorrow and um, I'm excited but a little nervous because it's going to be a really big event. There's going to be like a popular DJ there. If you follow me on Snapchat then you probably have already seen it and it's probably going to be really crazy. The last event I filmed for this brand was ins insane. Also don't mind my braid thingy. I'm trying out like a different way to do the heatless curls so we'll see how it works. One of the creators that I edit for does it this way and it looks really cute so normally I would do it like that. But anyway, it is 9.29 right now, basically 9.30 and I just lay in bed and hopefully fall asleep in the next 30 minutes and wake up at 6 hopefully and figure out what to do then. I think I'm going to work out and do arms so that I don't get that sweaty. I just wash my hair. But good night, and I'll see you in the morning.
Good morning, happy Wednesday. I'm here in downtown LA. Just made it to the filming location, which is going to be up there. <laughs> which is not as bad because I thought it was gonna be way up there. But we are at the Moxie Hotel in downtown LA and it was really crazy because I used to live down here. Comment if you remember those vlogs. But I used to live down here and I passed my old apartment building and went thrifting a little bit this morning as you saw. So I will show you what I got when I get home. I'm really excited for this thing that I got. You will see why but had a good productive morning as you saw about to go in. I don't know if I should park here or in the hotel. I'll probably just park here. But yeah, about to go up there and film. The event lasts until four o'clock. It is 10.30. There's gonna be three videographers and one photographer and then you guys will see. I'll take some clips in there. I obviously won't be vlogging because I take my job very seriously and I want to just focus all my attention onto filming the event and not for my vlog. But really happy actually that I was vlogging today and bringing you along a little day in my life as a uh, videographer. So let's go have a filming day. finished the filming day. It actually went by really fast, but it was super fun. I don't know how much of the vibe you could get from those clips. It was really cool and a lot of really cool people were here as well. It is 4.30, 4.42, so to beat the LA traffic, I'm gonna probably go shop a little bit, but just got all packed up and we did it. Woo! <laughs> $8. All right, time to start the 52 minute drive home. Gonna be stuck in traffic for a while. I'm back home now and I have to show you everything that I got today. First of all, I went to the Salvation Army and this like caught the corner of my eye and I had to do like a double take because who the heck would donate this? And is this even real? And are they okay? Like it's not ruined or anything. It's just a little money in there. That's so funny. 50 cents. Um, oh wait, a whole dollar. Anyways, I thought this would be really cute for Coachella. I feel like it would hold my camera if I wanted to use it as like a normal purse. I have to clean it out a little bit, but yeah, that's, oh, that's crazy. And I don't have a purse like this. I can hang it on my little coat rack over here once I clean it. But moving on, so I got a lot of stuff. Got this, originally did not get this for Coachella and there's shorts like on the back. Well, shorts everywhere, but it looks like a skirt in the front and I don't have anything like this. So I thought this was really cute and I really hope it works out. I'm gonna try this right now actually because I feel like it might not fit. Oh, thank God. I'm definitely gonna wear this to Coachella with something. I don't wanna try on all my outfits right now because you guys will see on TikTok. I was thinking in the car ride home if I was gonna do a Coachella work vlog, but I think I'll just do my daily TikToks like I did last year of like mini vlogs instead of having to worry about my vlog. I don't know, we'll see. Actually, no, I'm, de I'm deciding right now, it's a no. But follow me on TikTok if you don't already to see when the Coachella stuff goes live and you'll see my outfits. Thank God this fits. Cute. All right, next up, I got this from Goodwill for like $8 and also got these pants from Goodwill. I feel like they're from Shein. It doesn't say, yeah, I don't know, but I have ones I feel like exactly like this, but they're like the opposite colors, like tan and navy instead of all navy. I think I don't have any navy ones, so. Yeah, I love these type of pants. I know it's summer now, but those are really cute. Not for Coachella. And then at the Salvation Army, I got, or no, this was at Goodwill. Anyways, I got this. I saw this immediately, it was like, yes. Immediately, yes, it's Coachella, giving huge Coachella vibes. I'm getting really excited now. I kind of just want to try it on. And then I got this shirt from the Salvation Army, which would look so cute with this, but I might want to do this just with like a denim skirt and then could 
figure out something with this because if you don't know coachella is three days you need three outfits i'm not tripping too much about the outfits i think i said this earlier how i'm just working so i don't want to go full-on festival outfits so yeah this would be cute but also i was thinking having this shirt with the denim skirt with this purse and then this belt like i feel like this is everything I got from the Salvation Army and I just feel like this would be a cute outfit. These belts used to be so popular when I saw it. I was like, oh yeah, gotta bring this back. So this is what I got from the Salvation Army and Goodwill. And then the event, oh my God, it was so cool. The Soul de Janeiro events are always really cool. They have some crazy connections. If you know Sophie Tucker, the DJs, they're both DJs. I thought it was just the girl, but anyways, she was the DJ at the event you saw her, them. And I saw some like really famous TikTokers that were there. It was just cool. It was a cool event, cool experience. Love my job. But couldn't walk away without getting their new sunscreen. This is why they were having an event because they were launching their new sunscreen products. They have a lotion, a spray, and an oil. Oh, that's cool. I called my sister. She's like, did you get me one? I was like, no, but you can have one of mine. Also gave us a really cute like makeup bag. I don't even know what this is. I think it's a hat. <laughs> it is a hat. I literally don't even own one of these. How do you? Oh, there you go. <laughs> Wait, it's kind of giving. And then I grabbed a towel. Shout out to Sol de Janeiro. I also got a Sephora package, so we can unbox this really fast. All I got was my um, moisturizer. This is the Tula 24-7 day and night cream. I've been using this for a while and I like never switched it up. I know some people switch up their skincare routine based on like the season, but I don't know. I Skincare is really hard for me to understand and took me a lot of money and time to figure out which products weren't gonna break me out. So this one is my go-to. And then of course the little free samples. So got those. All right, and that is everything I got today. It's seven o'clock, is that right? Okay, well, I guess it's seven o'clock, so I need to eat. I am starving. There was food there, but I just didn't eat. I was just filming and walking around and I don't know. I never think about eating, but yeah, let's make some dinner. Here is Din Din. I know it doesn't look that appealing. <laughs> Usually I would have done rice and beans. I forgot to do the beans because they're in there and I just forgot and then I was too lazy to make the rice, but little taco bowl situation and I am starving. I have showered and I was just watching Love Island. I also made some cookies, but I've just been way too exhausted to like talk or do anything. Like the last, I've only been home and here in LA for like four days and I'm already stressed. Like every time I come back here, I feel like there's just so much to do. Like I still have to edit my YouTube video. At least I got my Coachella outfits. I'm really excited about that and then in two days i leave for san diego i really wanted to do like a san diego vlog with my whole family so i'm gonna be vlogging some more hopefully i can get this youtube video done tomorrow it's always hard like when you're away and then you have to come back and you have no food and all of a sudden i'm running out of like all my makeup so now i needed like new powder foundation concealer i don't know i've just been spending a lot of money lately and i feel like i'm still finding things like i just ran out of dry shampoo and i didn't have any razors or toothbrushes like all this stuff that i have to buy after being away for a month but anyways really happy that i brought you along today it was a good day and the event was super cool i'm just so exhausted and this month hasn't even like it's just starting so stay tuned for a very busy month of vlogs hopefully if i have the time sorry if you hear the noises on facetime um he's playing a game but anyways thank you again for watching it this far and if you have watched it this far comment the sun emoji because we were in the sun today and i think i got a little sunburned and i should have or sunscreen because literally there was sunscreen everywhere and I just didn't put it on. I don't know. I I just get in the zone when I'm filming and hopefully got some good footage. But I'm going to bed. Well, I'm going to talk to this man's for a little bit. But I'm going to bed soon. Hope you have a good day or a good night and I will see you next week.